Uh, Danny, uh, first of all, then um, Dragons, first up this weekend, two Welsh derbies. Uh, how do you approach uh, the Dragons? Um, well, you know, I don't think our prep massively changes from our prep last week, really. But uh, one thing we didn't get right, obviously, was the first 20 minutes of the game against the Blues, and it put us in a really difficult position against a, you know, a good Blues performance. So. We need to start well this week and we need to perhaps mentally be in a better place than maybe we were in that first 20 minutes. Um, but boys are really motivated, obviously. The last thing we want to do is lose two derbies on the bounce. Uh, a lot of pride in, in this group, um, especially when it comes to the derby. So our, our intention is to obviously put things right from last week, bounce back with um, a good start to the game, hopefully a good performance, and you know the rest will look after itself. Good to have uh, a couple of uh, derbies towards the end of the season. Yeah, it's, it, it does put a little bit of a um, added edge to the tail end of the season, especially when perhaps you know we we are obviously playing for that European spot, making sure we can cement that. That's our aim. But you know, having not been able to qualify for the playoffs now, I think having those derbies has added an extra spice to the tail end of the season. So, which is great. I mean, uh, you know, I think that's the same for for all the sides in Wales that are involved. And um, like I said, our aim is to put right the weekend. A few people are critical of him uh, of his discipline let him down at times uh, it was said um, have you had words with him at all about discipline no, not in the slightest I don't think Liam's got any discipline problem for, for me um, there's a fine line between um, perhaps being as brave as Liam is and, and maybe going slightly over that line but I think he he is one of the bravest players I've ever come across you know, he's so committed um, in everything he does in all contact situations and in the back field he's like an extra back row at times turning ball over and over the ball and so on so you know, that's not something that we'd want to take away from him. Uh, you know, this is probably one of the one major incident that that I've seen uh, where he's just mistimed a tackle. It's as simple as that for me. And you don't need to say anything to Liam. He comes to you and tells you first what he's done wrong or in his mind, and he was first to put his hand up and said he made an error, and, and that's, it was a costly error. There's no doubt about that, but no issues. And uh, for you personally, um, how? You approach the end of the season because it's an end of the period for you, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, obviously, my my role will continue with the Scarlets in a consultancy um, basis on a lesser commitment, um, looking after the scrum as opposed to the forwards in general. But um, you know, I've had a great two years here. The the, the players and the staff have been outstanding. Um, I really hope to continue that commitment in the future. Um, but yeah, I mean, to end the season with couple of derbies was great obviously bitterly disappointed with the way that the first derby ended up um, the second one against the Dragons was a club that I have coached been involved with know the players and uh, have full respect for what the Dragons are doing and have done and it would be great to get a win over the Dragons after our loss uh, away and, and likewise with the Blues I think we've got massive motivation as a group um, to make sure we finish the season with two big wins and the last thing I want to do is move on to another club with two losses under my belt as the last two games. So I'm as motivated as the rest of the group. But ultimately, it's about the players. And so far this week, they've, sh they've shown a real bounce back from the disappointment of the last game we had. Yeah, uh, The results have gone your way over the last two weeks, but it's still, I suppose it's still a job to do just to get that sixth place. Ah. Be, be nine points ahead of the Blues in there. Without a shadow of a doubt. It's, and it's more about, we, you know, I know supporters that would be very disappointed with, with the result against the Blues in the stadium but n no more so than anybody else in, in, yeah. in this environment we were all pretty gutted by yeah. the way the couple of derbies have been and it's really important we finish yes for the league campaign but if I'm honest more importantly for pride that yeah. we finish the derbies with strong performances and hopefully two good yeah. results